Hello. Today, I'm going to do a series of videos on using Reaper for voiceovers. So this is specifically for people that like to uh, do voiceovers in a, in a cheap program and using that program effectively for the voiceover work. Now, this is uh, going to be pretty uh, important because as opposed to free programs like Audacity, uh, I'm going to show you a couple things you can do with Reaper to get it working for really quick and effective voiceover work. So without further ado, I'm going to start up Reaper here with default settings. Reaper. Oops. All right. So I'm going to reset it to factory default so that when you open Reaper for the first time, you'll see what... Um, I'll see, you'll see what is on my screen, generally. So, you have not selected an audio device. Would you like to select an audio device driver now? Recommended. Yes, you have to in order to record. So let's do that because it can get a little confusing for certain people. Now, um, you'll notice, you'll get to have a couple options here. And then if you have a professional audio interface or if you downloaded ASIO for all you'll have this ASIO tab okay so um it really depends on your system but if you're using the real tech drivers ASIO for all can be tricky okay because um oh I I even deleted ASIO for all so but <clears throat> here let's I think direct sound is the one we want to use so um ASIO for all is tricky because it's um, it doesn't let you use your microphone when you have, say, Firefox open or Windows Media Player because it's using those audio drivers. Okay, ASIO for all doesn't let, does not like to share your audio driver. So if you if you if you have ASIO for all and you don't have any sound playing, that's why you got to close all your programs that will potentially use audio. So that includes Skype. Um, messenger you know just anything that makes a noise just turn it off before you record any audio all right because it's it will um affect your audio streaming capabilities all right so input device i'm going to use moto moto analog one two because i have a higher end interface than most people um a lot of people would use front mic here v high definition audio okay and uh, and then your output device would be speakers, digital or yeah, speakers, high definition audio. Okay, but for me, I have to pick something completely different, and I'm going to pick my ASIO. So it's um, now if you do have ASIO for all, so that if you have direct sound, go to direct sound and mess around with it. I mean, and you got to change these buffers too. If you're crackling, then you are going to have to change your buffer size too. And this is a pretty pretty hefty buffer size, 185 milliseconds latency. So that's gonna basically you're not gonna have any kind of streaming audio um, back. So and I'll show you streaming audio in video number two actually. So in the next video, I'll show you streaming audio. So for your ASIO people, okay, you're gonna be able to pick your ASIO driver. So in your case, it'll be ASIO for all, unless you have an interface like a PreSonus, Firebox, then you pick whatever um it comes whatever asio driver comes with that now uh enable inputs yes first input and last input okay my motu has eight inputs so i'm going to pick from one to eight all right first to last now output range um i only have i only put from analog one two okay and you'll notice that it's three four that's because it's a left channel and a right channel. So the first channel is going to be left, last channel is going to be right. So it's going to pick left, right in order for my output. Okay. Now uh, I've already configured my ASIO, but it depends heavily on what exactly your situation is. If you're using ASIO for all, the ASIO for all thing will come up when you click that. All right. It's not coming up because it's in a project right now. So I'm going to press OK. All right. So now our audio is set up to to um record audio all right um what the first thing that i want people to under to to do 
is save, okay? Because like when you're working in any kind of multitasking process project, it's going to be um, you always have the opportunity for crashes and bugs, you know. So just uh, because it's a very high intensive program, so what we're gonna do is Control S, okay, and then we're gonna save this one as Elijah's tutorial exclamation mark, okay? You don't need exclamation. And it'll save as Reaper project files. Now what that is, it creates a it creates a Reaper project that will hold all your audio that you record. Okay? So it's not gonna export a WAV file or an MP3 file, it's gonna save the project. So you can come back later if you, say you run out of time and uh, you know you haven't finished your effects, it's okay. You could save, close, and then come back, and then you could start exactly where you left off and nothing you'll ne you won't have made any permanent changes to the audio to the original audio because the original audio is still just a wave file but now you have the opportunity to go back change as you like you know if someone if you send something to someone and they're like hey this is a perfect take then you can come back and then you can go through and I'll show you that later how to export different files for each little part. All right. So I'm going to save and then uh, see you in the next video.